it looks like you need a new social security number. Um, so let's uh, go into that, but uh, let me tell you who I am. I'm Dr. Ed Weir. I uh, was a district manager of the Social Security Administration, the third busiest office in the country, now retired. I've put together a team of also retired Social Security employees. And what do we do? We help people throughout the country make sure they get everything they're entitled to from Social Security and Medicare. That includes retirement, disability, survivor benefits, spousal benefits, Medicare Part A, Part B, Part C, Part D, the Medicare Advantage plans, prescription drug plans, Medicare supplement plans, all the rest of it. Uh, unfortunately, we don't really help people with Social Security, getting Social Security cards and numbers or anything like that. That is, uh, um, yeah, that, that would take up pretty much all of our time. Um, so that's why we're putting together this, uh, this little video. Um, it's for the most part to get a social security number is relatively easy. Um, it is a pain, it does take time, but uh, it's, it's relatively easy if you have the proper documentation. So let's, uh, let's dive in that today. But if you happen to know anybody that needs any help with all of the above, other than social security cards, uh, make sure uh, you give them our information or share this uh, video or the, all the other videos. Um, at the end, I'm going to put a, uh, our, our most watched video. If you know somebody receiving social security benefits, um, please share that video with them. Working with the social security administration uh, uh, for a few decades, we know where social security makes all the mistakes. So I put together a video outline all of uh, uh, outlining all of those mistakes and how to make sure your particular or someone you know, your parent, uh, grandparent, next door neighbor, friend, uncle, aunt, um, to make sure they're receiving all the benefits they're entitled to. If they have any uh, questions about uh, retirement survivor, Medicare and all that, tell them to give us a call. Our help is always, 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 always free. We never charge you anything, zero cost never has to pay us a dime. So there's that. Uh, so let's uh, get into the social security guards and how to get a replacement and some other tips on how to get everything done relatively painlessly. Okay, let's go through the new redesigned social security administration website. So this is the official website, ssa.gov. And then uh, all you do is go to your card and record there and social security number and card. So what is a social security number, a unique identifier? Um, you might need one. Um, I get a lot of seniors uh, that call me up and say, yeah, I need a new social security card. And I first question, why? Uh, did you forget your social security number? If, unless you're going to you know, get a job or you need it for the bank or somebody is actually requesting the social security card, you don't really need it after a certain point of your life. Um, if you got your social security number, that's fine. You don't need your card to file for taxes or anything like that. But if you need it, then you need it. All right, let's, uh, let's say uh, you've already got a social security number and everything. Um, some people ask me, hey, can I get a new social security number? Um, I work for the Social Security Administration for 20 years, and I think uh, we, out of 20 years, maybe 10 new Social Security numbers, uh, people in witness protection, um, you know, people, so it had to be an extremely, extremely, uh, you know, special situation, um, very, very unique that Social Security Administration would give you a brand new number. It's like, well, you know, I've got all these debts and stuff, so if I change my Social Security number, they can't find me. Yeah, no, no. Nice try. Um, yeah, so if FBI contacts us and you're in the witness protection program, then uh, we'll give you a Social Security, a new Social Security number. If uh, So um, there are some other very extenuating circumstances, but uh, for the most part, uh, that Social Security number you got when you're a kid it's going to follow you for the rest of your life, right? All right, so uh, let's go to uh, um, the replacement card here. And we click on this. And, uh, and over the last few years, Social Security, this is great. The Social Security Administration has been working with the individual states throughout the country to make getting a Social Security card easier. 
So the, this has been rolled out, you know, state by state by state. And uh, as of right now, 2023, most of the states are covered. So what it is, if you have essentially no changes to your, you know, you didn't get divorced or married or, you know, something like that. Um, there are no name changes. Uh, you know, you, you find out the date of birth on your social security card, even though your social security card doesn't have a date of birth, it, it does have a date of birth. It's doesn't show on the card, but you have your name, your parents' name and your date of birth. And that is in the social security system. And then, so if you ever go file taxes or something, do it electronically, sometimes the IRS kicks it back and says, no, this is incorrect. And wait a second, that's my social security number. No, the date of birth is incorrect. So what you have to do is then you have to update your date of birth. So usually what happens is when you were born, they transpose the numbers, you know, you were born on, you know, the, the 12th and they put the 21st or something like that. So in the social security records, your date of birth is incorrect and therefore the IRS kicks it back and stuff. So in that case, you can't do this online, but if it's just a simple, no name changes, anything like that, citizenship updates, there's no changes whatsoever. You can actually go in and uh, um, do this online without any documentation whatsoever. Uh, and <clears throat> and the new website here is 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 pretty awesome. So they've got a nice little uh, you know start. Let's uh, start. You are you at least eighteen years old? If you're under eighteen, um, then can't do this because what happens is. Um, and if you don't have a license or an ID, it depends on a particular state, but you have to, most states you have to have a license or, you know, a state ID. And what happens is you file this application online here um, and Social Security then checks your information, your identifying information with the particular state because you have to provide your, your driver's license in this application and then they check the computer system for your particular state and said, okay, yeah, this person, the date of birth and everything is correct. And this person is, is the person's ID does check out. It's a valid ID. It's not expired or anything like that. Okay. Here's your new social security number and they mail it to your house in seven to 10 days. You'll get it within seven to 10 days. One of the things that uh, a lot of people uh, um, that, that don't get their social security card, it's important that if you have one of those community mailboxes, you know, with a whole bunch of mailboxes, it's important that your name is on the inside of that mailbox because, you know, obviously you can get junk mail, junk mail will follow you anyway, it doesn't matter. But anything from the Social Security Administration, IRS or something like that, um, if you're, if it, the, the mail says John Smith and Smith is not in that little community mailbox, if it's not in your mailbox, that name, then the, the postal delivery person just might return it. So we used to get that all the time. Uh, you know, you said it would take seven to 10 days. I never got it. And the first thing we ask is, okay, is your name in the mailbox? Oh, no, I'm just staying there temporarily. And we just got the place and whatever the case may be. So that's usually um, why you don't get it delivered. Okay. All right. Um, for children, for children, um, you can't do this on, you cannot do this online. You'll have to go to the social security administration or you can mail it in. But, uh, if you mail in, um, the application, the application is SS five. So you can just download that, fill it out, sign it, put your, again, your correct address on there. Can't send you a card if we don't have your address, if social security doesn't have your address. Um, and how do you, it, obviously your seven year old son or daughter doesn't have a driver's license. Um, I'm familiar with most States. I don't think, yeah, any, anyway. Um, but, uh, how, how do they have identifying ID? Uh, it's, a, it's like a school record. It has to have their name and date of birth, uh, medical records, uh, health insurance. Um, if the, the, if the child is an infant, uh, like any type of shot records or anything like that. Um, crib cards, um, but it has to, again, it has to be uh, the, the original one. You just can't make a copy of it and give it to Social Security. Um, anytime you go to Social Security, you have to make sure you take the original documents down there for the employee behind the window to look at. They will make the copy and then return your originals to you. Okay, that's the important part of that. 
Um, and then you have to have your ID, obviously, to prove that, uh, you know, you can actually get the Social Security number for uh, the child. OK. All right. So the child Social Security you know, number getting that is uh, is a completely different uh, issue that uh, might uh, pick up later in another video. But for now, let's let's say you're an adult over 18 years old and uh, you're a U.S. citizen. Um, I'll say yes. You have a mailing address. Yes. You're applying for yourself. Let's say yes. Just a replacement card. Again, no name changes. Replacement only. If you got to change the name or something like that, if you get a uh, if you get married, then you have to get your name changed on your Social Security card. How do you do that? You take your marriage certificate down there, and again the original, and you show it to them, and they'll give you a, a new Social Security card with the new name. If you get a divorce, take the divorce decree down there, and get it changed and, and um, getting the name change, you have to make sure you link your previous name with your new name. So if you have a divorce um, and you've already changed the ID or something like that, make sure you've got those, you know, you went from Smith to Jones, make sure you have some type of documentation that says Smith and Jones. If the, if the, um, if the divorce decree has Jones, you know, you have to link those two names. So the social security administration knows that, uh, you know, you are that particular person and a birth certificate is, you know, that, that proves your date of birth, but doesn't prove your ID. It doesn't have your name or anything on it. You know, I could, you know, request the, the birth certificate for Elvis Presley, but I'm not Elvis Presley, but so there's that. All right. So, uh, get a replacement card. Um, if you have a driver's license, state ID, again, driver's license for the most part, some states uh, accept this, the state ID. And, uh, and then it will ask you, uh, okay, what state? Let's put, uh, let's put Colorado there. And we'll go next. Let's see. What you can request a card online. So that means Social Security Administration has um, set up a system between the, federal, for, between the Social Security Administration and the state of Colorado that uh, we will bounce the information you put in the application with the database, Colorado State Driver's License Database, and confirm your identity. And it's a beautiful thing. So you won't have to go down to the local social security office. It's awesome. Um, save yourself all that time. But if you can't do this, then yes, you will have to go down to the social security administration and uh, you cannot make a, an appointment. Uh, you can't do an appointment for something like this. You just have to go in there and walk in. Um, don't do it on Mondays. Don't do it on the, the day after a, you know, a holiday or something like that. Um, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday in the afternoon or so, um, you know, anticipate waiting. Um, it is, it is what it is. Um, um, contact your, uh, uh, political representative and tell them social security needs better customer service and, uh, hopefully something will be done there. One more important thing before you go, let's make sure your social security benefit is correct. Please click on this video. I know where social security makes mistakes. So I put together this video and you go down the 10 different points to make sure your monthly benefit amount is correct.